Welcome to Betrick TV, Wim Lonison and Ian Hislam. Hi, you can't see by the four big ones here, can you? Definitely not. No. Definitely not. Now, we're all hoping that Andy Murray, of course, can finally achieve what no one else has achieved for so many years now. He's the fourth best player in the world by far. However, that's the problem. He's got three guys ahead of him, two of which could lay claim to be the best of all time. Now, I expect him to get to the semis. Mm. He'll face Nadal there. Just can't see it. I just can't see it. I think Nadal and Federer, as cliche as it sounds, we're talking about two of the best players of all time here. Mm. And they're both in good form as well. Mm. So can't really see past the big two, Dan. Exactly. It's an amazing era to be around in for Murray. It's the wrong time. In a way. It is, it is. And um, the question is, how long can you use that as an excuse? People used to say that about Tim Henman as well, that he always had Pete Sampras to have to deal with. Could have won a couple of Wimbledons if it wasn't for a certain Mr. Sampras. It is unfortunate for Murray, but then again, Djokovic has shown that if you raise your game, you can get a bit of joy. Djokovic started the year fantastically mm. well, beat Nadal, was in great form. So Murray kind of needs to do that and raise his game mm. if he's going to produce a shot. But it's really difficult to see past these two informed guys. Mm. All eyes on Murray, though, in England, of course. Uh, we are looking at the outright odds, and you should as well, because they are changing from time to time. And here you can do a good bet, maybe, can't you, Ian? Well, this is it. I mean, we started the tournament with uh, Nadal as clear favourite. Uh, this morning, as we speak now, checking the odds this morning, morning we've now got Federer as favourite so the punters are struggling to decide mm. obviously Nadal won the French and beat Federer however Federer did play really well in that tournament a lot better than people thought so he's feeling confident and in good form and of course he's won it six times so the punters can't really decide we can't really decide here at Betclick it looks as if it's between those two but mm. whichever one it is who knows we'll mm. wait and see but I expect them to be in the final be surprised if they weren't yeah follow Betclick the odds the lie betting etc and we will see if someone can threaten Federer and Nadal, but we doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> Good luck, Andy Murray. Good luck. Good luck with your bets. Thanks.